Okay, my name is Dorothy Che, and I'm an acupuncturist in New Jersey. And I've been practicing acupuncture for 21 years. And I was struggling to run the office for the last couple of years, I think from the pandemic and change of my office. So I needed some help to stay afloat. And I signed up for the Six Figure Speaking Mentorship with Chen. And it was really, it really helped me bring back my patients and get new patients. Awesome. And what were you uh, feeling most frustrated with before the mentorship? Before the mentorship, I just didn't know what, where to go to get more patients into the office. I just, I was totally lost. I felt kind of helpless and wasn't able to pay for the bills literally. So I needed some, some dramatic help at that point. And how are you feeling about it back then? I feel frustrated and I was actually more worried than anything else, I think, that maybe I won't be able to, you know, practice my acupuncture, which I love to do. So that was, I think, worrying and frustration at the same time. And you're, you're, uh, a pharmacist too, right? Yes, I was a pharmacist be, before being acupuncturist. And, but, you know, uh, the side effects of the old medication was worrying some for me and for the patients that came in. So I was looking more into a holistic uh, the profession, which I actually knew about acupuncture and herbs, you know, growing up as a growing up and being treated with acupuncture and herbs early on. So that was the interest I had. And when I had chance to go to go back to school and that's the route I took. Great. And I never looked back. And what, what's, uh, I'm curious when, when you were deciding to be a part of the six figure speaking makeover mentorship for introverts, mm -hmm. any hesitation? Actually, I, the first time I got an email, I read it and I said, you know, maybe this must be the, that I've been worrying about it for, you know, for a while. And at that point I said, let me just give a call. And I think I signed up on the same time when I made the first call. What's changed for you that you're excited about? For what? Well, now I have a practice that's full, uh, 95% to 100% every week. And also I have more, I have, other opportunities to working in the hospital. I've been, I, I was working in a cancer center before one day a week. Now I'm there another day working in an MS center. In addition to the private practice, now I have more opportunities outside of the practice. Congratulations. And what, what, how are you feeling about it? Oh, I feel, now I feel confident actually after the taking the course, I had a dinner with an oncologist. One of my specialties treating chemotherapy and radiation side effects. So I had a dinner with her and I'm meeting her again next week. I'm visiting her with um, brochures and um, referral packs. So uh, we had a very good conversation. She was really into alternative medicine. So that's going well. And I have four more oncologist meetings that is scheduled in the next two, few weeks. So I'm very confident talking to the doctors and having these meetings and approaching them in the first place. Before I was kind of like very timid to actually approach them and talk about my profession unless they ask. Even sometimes even they ask me something, I'll be very short answered and I was kind of a little bit shy, but now I actually approach them and I feel confident. Awesome. What was it like? What was it like to have the done for you templates and scripts? Oh, those, the templates and scripts are actually, I think they were the best thing because I don't know what to say when I see the doctors or when I patients approach me. So 
but those scripts and templates actually give me the guidelines to uh, initiate and help me through the whole conversation. I think the, the ones that you did offer the uh, templates and the what to say and how to say, I think they were the best, especially ones that, remember you had a template that I think it wasn't a was template, but you, you were saying, by the way, do you have, can you think of a patient who has X, Y, and Z? And I think that was real, that worked really well for me. Awesome. And how has this affected your income? Income level, I remember writing down at the beginning when you gave us the form to fill out what my, what my desired income is 90 days from today. And I already met that desired income and some. So I am pretty happy. That's so awesome. And you, because you met it, like, I thought you met it like 30 days into it, right? Right, right, right. That's awesome. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the, because you, you got some opportunities with talking to the doctors before the oncologist. Tell us a little bit about those opportunities that you got and what that was like for you. Since I was working one day in the hospital, I had a chance to see a lot of doctors, you know, in the, the cafeteria or the, they have once a month, we have, they give lectures. And, you know, there are usually like 50, 60 physicians attending these lectures in the auditorium, but I never approached them. I just sat there in my chair and then when it's over, it left. I never had introduced them to my, you know, that what I do there. And so I kind of learned to do that from taking this course. I think that's also a confident issue. And I don't, before I didn't want to be salesy, but now I realize what I had offered is not, I'm not trying to sell myself. Well, at least it doesn't come out as that. Yeah. No, not, yeah. Another thing that I think those templates that were good is I, I yesterday, I gave a Zoom presentation about the neuropathy caused by chemotherapy. And I never actually had, after the giving talks that, somebody sign up. I, I do have it, but very rarely. But yesterday I had a 14 people do it in the Zoom and three people actually called and emailed to schedule. So I was very happy. And I don't remember those templates in your guidelines had what to say, how to say it. it was very specific and what to offer. So that was very helpful. And it's the first time that any of my talks generated patients immediately. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's like 20% conversions. And yeah. that is pretty high for online because yeah. typical online kind of webinar conversions mm -hmm. are more like three to 5% for something that is a paid offer and then 10% for something that's a, a free mm. offer. So, you know, you're like at least double what's typical, right? Online for conversions. So that's amazing. Uh, I mean, conversions typically in person are even higher mm. than that, but we, you did it in a Zoom setting without having to leave the house, right? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So Actually, awesome. yeah, we was in my office, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't have to go out for it and get dressed right, right. extra. And yeah. And it was kind of very short because it, it it was done during my lunch time. Mm. So about 30 minutes talk. And then there was like 10 minutes of questions and answers. And it was straightforward, but straightforward from your uh, mentorship guidelines. That's what I use this time. Yeah. Awesome. Not bad for a half hour talk and getting three new patients. I know, I know it was great. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic leverage what would you say are some tips or suggestions you have for people or just overall other practitioners mm -hmm. related to getting in with mds or, or just overall you know tips you would like to give i think the first of all the what i wanted to say is i hope i had taken this course 21 years ago when i started the practice because it's not something i could have learned in any way on my own. It's just that I don't have that business mind in my genes, I guess, you know, I've just kind of 
uh, more of an academia kind of person. I don't know how to say it and how to bring in more patients. So if I had it done 20 years ago, I think that would have been very, very helpful. And I hope like you could start teaching at the schools, at the graduate level, you know, students who are finishing their professional schools. I think that would be very, very helpful. Yeah. And I just think it's a matter of having confidence. You know, most of us already have what, you know, our experience, we have our skills and our knowledge. But once you have that confidence, and I think then you could talk to the doctors, you could talk to anybody and, you know, not worrying about it. So I think taking this course, you know, again, I'm saying it repeatedly, it's that having more confidence to talk to other people. Awesome. Yeah, the confidence comes with clarity. It comes with with knowing what to say Mm -hmm. as well, in addition to, you know, really believing in how you can Mm -hmm. help people. Because even if you believe Mm -hmm. that you can help people, but then you're not sure how to communicate it effectively, uh, especially to doctors, then then the confidence isn't there, right? So yeah, so love love that you you mentioned that. And what um what was it like to to be in this mentorship with that? Uh, like, what was your favorite part of your the mentorship experience? There were a lot of good parts. I liked the parts that I had to communicate with other people that were taking the course, so that I could get the feedback, and I could also while I'm giving the feedback then I also realized things that I need to change. So I think that was good. And I love the, the templates and guidelines and what to say exactly. And those specific things are very, very helpful to me. Yeah. Awesome. What was this mentorship like for you as an introvert? I'm still an introvert. I don't think I, my personality will change. But with being introvert does not mean that you cannot go out and, and, and market yourself and talk to people. And sometimes maybe introverts are, comes up as more genuine so that I don't think that's a really a disadvantage anymore. Totally. And what, how would you say this is different from other business trainings you've had in the past? I don't really had a business training, but I had online marketing people. I have tried that. You know, you tried it for a year and they had a monthly charges and not much really happened. I tried for 12 months and, you know, the cost of it was like $1,000 a month and nothing really happened. So this was actually very helpful, I think, and very cost-effective way to do it. And what's your vision that you're excited about? I think I might have to hire another acupuncturist soon. And I'm looking in that direction because it's my practice is already full. And actually, I don't have a day off anymore. So I might, you know, I'm thinking of hiring another practitioner so that I could take a couple of days off. It's a good problem to have, right? Yes. How do you structure what you offer? Like, uh, do you charge visit by visit? And are you cash-based or insurance? I do all of those. Actually, I have a packages and I have patients, but I don't make them sign up unless they are, you know, after a few couple of sessions that this is what they want to do. So... So I have the cash patients and a lot of, I realized that patients who are coming from the MDs are more willing to pay in cash and, you know, stay with the treatments. So I feel I need to connect more with, you know, going forward, I have to keep connecting with these oncologists or other doctors that who come in. And I also, you know, take their, the insurance private insurances and people who call in who has the insurance they already had contacted their insurance company they realized they have a coverage and you know so and so forth so it's so you know I, I feel it's good that I have some of each of the payment methods how much are, uh, do you charge for the cash 
uh, fees? Cash patients is $80 per session. Yeah. And what's the initial? So, there is no charge for the consultation, but if they get a package, it will be $700 for 10 sessions. Great. Okay. And if you knew then what you know now, what advice would you give? Take the course. <laughs> Take the six-figure speaking mentorship course. And I think that everyone will benefit from it. Either you are an introvert or an extrovert. It's because it has nothing to do with the personality, I realize. It has a lot to do with how do you say it, what to say it, and when to say it. I think all of these things are important when you try to market your practice. What would you say to someone who might be on the fence? Oh, go for it. Go for it. You know, there's, you will only benefit from it and you will learn how to do it right at the early on. So if you're wait, you know, if you're at the fence thinking about it, I'd say go for it. I think it's worthwhile. Your time and your your money is very, it's, I, how would you, how would I say, it? I mean, I, other ways the market is, will cost you a lot more and that's productive. So go for it. Well, thank you so much for being here, Dorothy. It's so inspiring to hear oh, the yeah. wonderful things that are happening with you having these opportunities now mm -hmm. to, to educate patients, mm -hmm. like educate potential new patients and mm -hmm. providers too. Cause you've done some talks in front of doctors and potential patients, right? Right, right? So this is fantastic and really getting seen more as the go-to acupuncturist for this. So, mm -hmm. so congratulations. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was very helpful. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. And for those of you who are in a place where you feel like your practice is at a plateau mm -hmm. and you would like to be busier consistently mm -hmm. or your whole practice busier consistently, or maybe you would like to be able to have the practice run more on its own without you always having to be there, then feel free to mm -hmm. go to www.introvertedvisionary.com. Again, www.introvertedvisionary.com and then request a free chat with us and happy to see how we can help you grow your practice faster. So with that, thank you again, Dorothy, and see you next time. Yes, thank you, Chen. Bye.